This is the Anki, I think you pronounce it, PTZ camera. It has a 5 megapixel camera and it records in full HD. This can record at night in infrared or set the lights to come on to record in colour. Most of the body is made in plastic. The body is quite big in size and has these rotating antennas. On the back you have three holes for mounting this to a wall. Here's the product info. And on the back here you'll see the speaker. At the bottom you have a cover to get to the micro SD card slot. And this camera can pan 355 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. Here you have the reset button, ethernet port and power. And the bracket has a little notch so you can bring the cable down the bottom. It comes with wall plugs and screws, join cover and power lead. And this is only 1.5 to 2 meters long. So you may need to buy an additional power extension cable like this, which I'll leave in the description below. Or have a power socket where you're going to mount the camera. When you power it on, the light comes on and it rotates. Here it comes with a sticker, information on the back and a quick start guide. You can store your footage on a micro SD card, which you can use up to 128 gigabyte SD card. Or you have the option to save to the cloud. So you're going to remove this cover and insert your micro SD card in this slot. But I do wish there was a cover so you didn't see inside the camera. Put the cover back on and put the two screws back in. Here you'll see the light when the camera is powered on. You can download the app. I'll make a separate video on this. Once you're set up, you're all good to go. First, I'm going to test out the audio. Hello, can you hear me? Testing out the mic. Hello, can you hear me? Testing out the mic. That's how my voice sounds on the footage. Now you hear my voice coming out of the camera. Hello, can you hear me? Testing out the mic, testing out the mic. I notice every time it detects a person, it puts a green box around them. I have the tracking turned on and the motion detection turned on. But you also have the option for this to record constantly and the recording will be loop recorded. Now I'll show you what that zoom's like on the 20 times zoom, which you can keep tapping on the plus or minus on the screen here, which you can see the lens moving inside the camera here. This is how you're going to rotate the camera. When you're on direction, you tap the left, right, up or down and the camera will move. The better Wi-Fi signal you have, the more responsive the camera will be to moving from what you're telling the camera to do on the app. I have my Wi-Fi router three floors up in the living room and it seems to be working okay with the signal still. I'm impressed of how close up you can zoom and once you wait a second the picture gets clearer. I'm very happy with the image. As I said I'd mount this high up as it's not the widest view when zoomed all the way out. Here you can see me moving the camera by swiping the screen. I thought the tracking option meant that it would follow a person as they moved so the camera would rotate and tilt, keeping them in the camera for as much as it could. But the camera didn't move when I was testing it so I believe it's just the green box they have around the person. I'll leave information in the description if that changes. Now here you can see me recording at night. Once the camera detects my movement the lights come on. I'm impressed with the light, it's very bright and it does light up the whole area. My camera adjusts to the brightness, but you can still see how light it is. Now, this camera doesn't have a wide angle view, so I think it's probably best to have this high up. Here you can see I'm notified when motion is detected. Here you can see when the camera reacts to my movement by turning on the spotlight. On the app you can see this quick accessible menu. If you go back a page you have these three tabs, but you'll most likely press home and then click on the camera. If you click on the settings cog in the top corner, you can make all of your adjustments. And this can also be set up with Alexa, but I don't have that. Now click on some apps I think you'll use. If you click on cloud storage, you can subscribe here, but you will need to pay to store your footage on the cloud. This is your recording settings. It shows storage on the SD card, and you can also format the SD card. You can change your motion detection settings. This is what you'll click on to link up your Alexa. If you press the play button, you can look back at all your footage. If you click on theme color, you can have a white background or a black background. Here you have your night mode, but I had it on smart mode. Anti flicker, press the motion tracking, we'll turn that off or on. Or you can turn the light on and leave it on or off or set a timer. Here you can adjust your function buttons. If you tap this square, it will rotate the screen, make it full screen. Going back on the playback option, you can pinch to zoom in and out on the footage. 
which will stretch the timeline and make it easier to adjust forwards and backwards to view the footage. Or scroll left and right to go forwards and backwards in time, which will show that recorded piece of footage on the screen. The second option is to go on messages, where you'll see where the motion detection was set off by the camera. You click on all, where you have the option to pick the day, where you can click motion detection or human detection or all, and it'll have all of that in there. Here you'll see if I go back a day, there's more information there. Show me all the short clips of when I was detected. If you click on view, it will show that footage on the playback option. Click on the camera icon to save a picture or press the recorded button to start recording what's on the screen and press again to stop. The photo and video will be saved in your album section, which you can click on to view. From here you can click on the video or photo, click on the bottom right icon and here you can press save video. That will then save directly to your phone gallery, which is easier to share and send. If you go on the me tab then message center then human detection you can also see your notifications here but to receive the notifications to your phone click on the settings icon then with notifications turn that on by pressing allow then you'll be notified to your phone when motion is detected now this records in an epv file which is a pain because it was hard to open on my pc to view all the footage on the sd card but after downloading the footage it saves it to an mp4 file so that i could show you the footage you can see the support options. Here you can see a slight delay when speaking. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? You can see the camera detecting someone walking in the background. It places a green box around them so they stand out. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.